Hey folks! Hey, sorry, jamming to the music. Uh, I was trying to do a little secret sauce um, where I was actually trying to stream to Instagram at the same time. What? You say? Streaming to Instagram at the same time. Yeah, so if it, somebody would go check for me and see if I'm actually on my Instagram channel, it's at Jeff C. I would love to know what's going on there. But thank you guys for joining us. Um, we've got a fun show today. Um, if you're just joining us for the first time, this is where we actually carve. Oh, th there's Carrie. Uh, Carrie says she loves the secret sauce. And uh, hey, Monica from Periscope. That's working. Uh, oh, yes, we are live on IG. Very cool. I'd love to uh, know how this works. I craft shack uh, heather is watching from the big screen thank you guys for joining me We're, so today if you guys have seen this show before what it is is i usually carve something uh for 30 minutes because i want to show how awesome it is that just for 30 minutes a day how much you can accomplish with something that you uh you want to be consistent at so um very cool thank you for everybody seeing it uh they're saying they're seeing it on insta uh it's an experiment and uh if this works and i'm not like breaking any internet laws i'll share that with you guys later but uh we're gonna do some finishing up our penguin so let me go ahead and switch to uh this camera really quick uh here i haven't really uh oops got my computer still in the way i had a meeting right before this and i had to uh you know get everything set up on the fly let me turn this one off oops wrong one that's not the one i want see if I can turn that off well can't turn off the cameras uh, the thing the glare we're getting over there I don't want to mess with that so we are going to oh thanks George he said uh, oh Carrie's asking about his pick so let me pull this in real quick all right here we go um, so many things to do today and what we've been working on is uh, finishing up this little penguin here and if you can say we got it painted yesterday uh, the final pro the the final one looks something like this right here and you can see this is antiqued a little bit like I don't like the way this looks because um, it just looks like white out and so we're gonna antique it today and then hopefully we'll start um, we'll start to um, another carving so oh Liz Liz says her favorite thing about her week is the show Liz that's awesome thank you for saying that it's so cool I'm gonna turn down the music in my ear really quick so um thank you for people coming in from uh, periscope and everywhere this is pretty awesome um george says he's <laughs> will be done tomorrow it kind of feels that way doesn't it george things just kind of uh, run up there so yeah heather says you got to make the the new one look old and that's what we're going to do today so once again uh i'm gonna get some try not to spill a bunch of stuff on me this is what i use and I can't remember, I saw a YouTube, YouTuber tell me about this. Um, it's this It's this antique stuff that you use to water it down a little bit. And uh, and we're going to put that on our penguin so it doesn't look so, so I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. But the interesting thing is, um, it's, this is the scare, one of the scary times <laughs> when you do stuff like this. Because it just looks like you're ruining whatever you just painted. But uh, bear with me. And I'll show you how this works. But today's topic, we always have a topic every day. Today's topic is um, is the favorite toy you had growing up. I want to know that what is. I was a big uh, G.I. Joe kind of kid. And I want to know what you guys, what your favorite toy was. Let's see if this looks better. I mean, that's got too much shadow. Okay, we'll just do with what we got. So let's see here. Add some of this to it. Ooh, I, you know, I've heard some other people talk about uh, using shoe polish for stuff. Um, so this is, I'm trying to get it in the camera here. This is what, it's just a little bit of it. I probably actually used too much of it. And then we water it down just a little bit. And I really don't want to get any of this on my desk. So, oh, we got to start our countdown. So, bam. Okay, here we're starting right now. So just, I use a straw because it's easy to pick up just a little bit of water. Liz says her favorite toy was a Pooh Bear stuffed animal. Uh, it still has it. I hope you've watched it since you were a kid. Um, gosh, when I was little, I had like a teddy bear that I really loved. Um, 
So, well, thanks, Heather. Heather says she's inspired by my 30 minutes of creativity a day. I'm glad. That's the whole reason I like doing this is just to inspire people. Hmm. So Monica says the connection goes down. You know, with all the stuff going on, everybody working from home, it doesn't surprise me. Monica, we are live over on Facebook if you want to come join us there and comment. Um, favorite toy, RC Porsche. Remote control. Ooh. Okay, so that reminded me of probably my f- favorite toy. I had a uh, remote control R2-D2. And that you, it wasn't really remote control. You turn its head one way and it would go that direction and had like a really simple remote control. But I loved that thing until I know I made my parents so mad. I took it apart and uh, uh, did that. So um, I'm getting this, this, I don't want to drop this in the paint, but I'm getting this towel right here ready because what I like to do is put this on and let it set just for a little bit and uh, wipe it off really quick. Because I really, what I'm wanting to try to do is get detail in those cracks. So this is, and this is, it just looks like you're running it. It really does. Uh, but here we go. Hopefully I remember how to do this stuff. Good. We just paint on like this. And it looks like, what, Jeff? What are you doing? What are you doing? And just really quickly, because I don't want it on too long. And uh, I want it all in this, these cracks right here. probably needed a bigger brush but like I said I was really was really hurrying so get it all in there I'm trying to get all over me so George said his favorite was the first generation uh, G.I. Joe oh uh, Transformers and G.I. Joe's so get it all in there okay I'm gonna get it all over everything this is why it, it kind of helps smooth over your, your paint mistakes. And then quickly, gosh, I don't have enough room. So I just take it and I, I blot it off. I try to get it off as much as possible. Kind of get in the cracks right there and get it off. So Avery, the topic today is your favorite toy growing up. So what's your favorite toy? So see, looky there. Look how cool that looks now. See? It brings out all the detail. There's a missed a spot right in there. But isn't that cool how that works? Um, and you could water it down more if you if you want. I wanted to make this one because I didn't know how it'd look on camera. But you can even see the folds in the in the like the hat. Um, I just think that's cool. But it's sure freaking scary when you do it the first time. Avery loved his uh, his Optimus Prime. Oh, his big Millennium Falcon. Yeah, that was that was, Dad wanted to play with that. So, what do you guys think? Huh? Yay or nay? The little antiquing process. I just like. I just think it looks cool. It doesn't look. I mean, it doesn't look dirty, but it just gives it that that look. Laura says. She, oh, hey, Laura. Good to see you. She said she used to love playing beauty shop on her poor little sister. I can see that. So, there we go. One down. And we'll get the other one. I'm going to add a little bit more water to uh, the antiquing solution. I want to see if I can lighten it up just a little bit. There we go. All right. So... Swirl that in a little bit. You learn how much space you don't have when you start carving in your work's office space. All right, this is real. You know, the other time I said it, you know, when I was painting, I wanted the consistency of, uh, oh, skim milk. This is even, is even more waterier. Waterier? So, there we go. There's that one. Let me put this one on the little stick. See that you can compare them. See that was the one we just did. And there's the one. See how the details really pop out on that one. So here we go. So 
So, yeah, everybody, if you're just joining us, we're talking about our favorite toys growing up. So, and we're antiquing our penguin and would probably get to carve in some of the, our next project right after this. Heather, what do you use to a antique your stuff? I'd love to know how you do yours. Or maybe there's even a better option that I don't even know about. I'd love to know. Thank you, Heather, for sharing this on her socials. Appreciate that. And remember, with these penguins, we're going to give away. And George shared a really creative post yesterday, so he's in the running. I'm going to give away these two ping penguins to the first and second place of people who... Uh, do a great job of sh a creative way of sharing this show out. So George is in the lead right now, according to the official polling. So there we go. Get it all in the cracks there. So okay, yeah. Some uh, is it burnt umber? A lot of people use for uh, antique and stuff. There, um, Heather. And I try not to get too much out of the uh, the hat creases because I want to have that contrast. But I want I don't want the I don't want the uh, the this to be too dirt. You know the hat to be too dirty. But I want I want the contrast in there. So, and I even like it. I don't know if you see this. It's almost like a, a dry brick. When you rub it really hard, you get some of the paint off, and it looks like antiqued on some of the edges and stuff. It's hard to see. I got the light set up wrong, but uh, I just love the way that looks. So, there we go. How about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be fancy, and you call it Burt Umber. See, I was trying to show off with you, uh, Heather. So there we go. We got those two. Don't forget to um, share those out. Um, like here, I'll give you a chance. Take a screenshot. And uh, whoever shares it out most creative will win one of these two bad boys so one two three okay so let's get some carving this is what we're going to start next because i think it's going to make a, a, a good way to kind of um advance kind of some of our stuff that we're doing because it's kind of similar it gets a similar look but it's a different some different techniques are using so this is this is like the one of the first things i ever carved so i'm going to try doing again a little santa peeking out i'm going to try to bring the the hat rim down a little bit more around his face so i've got the piece that i'm going to use it's just a one by one piece of basswood i cut it this afternoon to the same height and this is how technical i get when i do this is i uh, i just lay it down beside it and this is kind of i want to show you this this is kind of the same theme this is another christmas ornament you can see uh, and that was just with a i split one of these down the, the side it's just a flat piece of wood and we may make one of those later too, but I just think those are fun. I think I saw somebody make something like it on Pinterest and I thought it was pretty cool and I just did it. So, but all, all I do is like lay down my old patterns to the, on the, on the uh, board like this and I just make the marks where the stuff's supposed to be. So I'll do that right now. ball of the, the the hat so then I kind of put it on the on its side and I'll sketch and when I say sketch I mean very rough like where I want his nose right here Just like this very very basic then I want to you know this is where the let's see double check yeah so this is the Top of the chimney, just across like that, just like that. So here we go. There's the hat. So this is kind of the top of the hat. We'll just draw it down around here. This is very, very basic. Very basic. Then the hat circles right there. Then I'll make some cuts. And just kind of see what happens. So 
So just set that up there and make sure so I don't screw up in front of all my friends. So this is going to go around like that. And I, I, one of my favorite things is doing ones that I don't have to um, do a lot of, uh, you know, I don't have to go to the bandsaw and cut this out. So that's why I kind of, I just kind of basically rough it out with the pins, the pencil, because I'll cut through it and it'll be gone. But see, that's what I did. I mean, super rough, just to know where to go. So what else? What are some other favorite toys? We've got a lot of Transformer stuff. Uh, my wife Jody had a Chrissy doll. Uh, she pressed her belly button and pulled her hair. It would get longer. That. No wonder no one invited you over to their house. Um, oh, her hair would get short again. Yeah. Chrissy doll. So. Yeah, that. a lot of times I'll start out with a pattern, uh, Heather. Like, um, for this one, uh, I saw in a magazine, and I found a pattern, and then I cut it out. So that's what it started like. So I cut that on a bandsaw. And it's great, but it's a pain to do. And so... I kind of like doing these really quick ones where I can just sit down or sit outside the, by the fire or whatever, and we will, uh, you know, and I'll do it that way. So let me get this right here. This is the stuff we use to sharpen our knife with, and so I'll put on. So we have 17 minutes. We should be able to get quite a bit done on this. Put on my. Uh... Hey, Michael. Thank you. Love seeing you live on Twitch. We need to have Jeff on our show. Yes, it would be fun to go back on your show, Michael. I'm doing this experiment with Twitch to see um, just, you know, what, if it's going to work, if it's a good idea. So we'll see. So I'm just going to sharpen it. You know, it's pretty sharp right now, but I always like to give it a little uh, extra sharpening. And you can see when I do that, a little bit of black comes off on the leather. That's actually part of the, part of the knife, little pieces of metal coming off which is making it sharp. Hey, Jim, good to see you. Howdy doody with Buffalo Bob and Mickey Mouse Club were the hot shows when he was in preschool and grade school. You know, Jim, I used to come home, and we had a, this sound, this really dates me. We had a 13-inch black and white TV that was set up in the kitchen, and I would watch the old black and white Lone Rangers with Clayton Moore, um, and I loved those. I love those a lot. So we're gonna make some cuts here, just some general cuts. Just so I know where some things are. So, yeah, and then I would watch um, Gilligan's Island. I still, I would still watch Gilligan's Island. I loved Bob Denver, I think. Um, he was awesome. Let me put this in the frame. So this is what we're making right here. I'll take these away. Man, I should have fixed my lights, but oh well, it's Friday. So I'm gonna start rounding off the hat a little bit to get started. Yes, we need to do the game show again. Michael, that was always fun. So what do you use, Michael, to go do the game show now? Do you use like, uh, do you still use StreamYard or do you use something else? So right here, I'm like, I'll, I'll press straight down to make, like to cut in the wood. And I can't remember what these cuts are called, but like this, and then I then I go up to those cuts, so it's, it's precise, and I don't go too far. I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way around, just so I know. I should see this okay. I use my knife a little bit to measure. some happy little cuts. So, so the stream is super crisp on Twitch. How did you see, how did you, uh, Mike, uh, Mitch, how did you find me on Twitch? Did it, did you get notified or how did that happen? Much cleaner than the Facebook streams. Very cool. And how is it going across on Instagram? Is it coming through, is it coming like in like uh, 16 by 9 or 
I didn't have a chance to, to check. George says most of you know, no, you know what? There's a lot of those old timers, George, who do a lot of carving with their buck knife. Um, yeah, I mean, if it doesn't, the only reason I use these is because one that they keep a blade. I mean, you could use a buck knife, and they don't, they don't fold back on you. That's the thing with some of those folding knives. I get a little nervous because I had to go to the emergency room, and so try not to do that again. Yeah, only about 17 windows open at a time. I know. So okay, uh, Mitch got notified. Very cool. Happy little cuts, George. So it's been a while since I've done one like this, so I'm kind of trying to remember exactly how I did it. But a lot of the things with the penguin are similar. So Jim that says, the collection of army men was my favorite, but then I loved my cat pistol. Yes, I had a cat pistol too. Um, you know what I used to do with my army men, those little green army men, is my mom would have a candle go in downstairs we had two stories and I would go and light one of them on fire and they would burn real slow like a candle and I'd bring it up to my room and watch it bubble and melt yes I was Sid pretty much from Toy Story the bad kid wasn't that his name? Sid so Michael uh, Daniels what is what is your favorite uh, toy growing up? it's easy we were learning how to date people with this so uh, George, uh, Michael, uh, I'm using um, Ecamm for this one. A lot of times for my shows I use vMix, but this is uh, Ecamm. I like the camera. I like the, the, it's easy to have a pop-in window. And then I'm going to Restream.io, and I'm testing Twitch and stuff from watching you and Eileen's uh, live show the other day. I just I think it's so cool that we can, we can still learn from each other. From all, I mean, continuing after all these years. You know, from the, the Wild West of the Google Hangout days. Hey, Julie, I started late. I had a meeting. Thank you for stopping by. How are things in Wichita? That's one of the cool things, and I think uh, Heather and, and Michael would agree with me, is that the live streaming community, for the most part, is very sharing. I mean, we used to... We'd always we'd be on we'd be on Mia's show and Google Plus, and then we'd go and be on another show, and we'd try different things. We I remember we had Star Wars Day one time. I mean, it was just it was a lot of fun. I went to South by Southwest before there was even mobile streaming with Ronnie Bincer, and we had this contraption strapped to his selfie stick, and we're going around. That's when I met Guy Kawasaki for the first time. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> Yeah, South by Southwest. Yeah, you were in the comments asking questions. We had like a rogues gallery, Heather, in the back. So, yes, survived a week. Julie says uh, she survived a week of our week one of our stay at home order and virtual school. I'm glad it's Friday. But you know what, Julie? It's so weird feeling because, like, for us, we don't go to church now. And it's just like these days are blended together. It's so bizarre how it's all happening. So like I said before, this wood at the top is really dense and really hard. It's like carving the top of a baseball bat or something. And one of the things you'll notice when I'm doing this is I'm 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 holding the knife in this hand, but I'm using this this hand to push it through. And that just helps give me some control instead of like when you're whittling when you're a kid and just doing that. Is I'm trying to make these really precise cuts. And uh, after a day of like, if you like when we're camping or something, I like to carve, just sitting by the fire, and uh, your hands get really tired. <laughs> yeah, Julie says it's going to be a really weird weekend when she has no plans. This is how you carve stamps. 
Okay. I'll have to go check some of those. I'm sure you have some videos about that, Heather. So, so Heather, did you tell us what our um, um, your favorite toy was? I can't remember. I had a lot of them as I got older. I mean, I mean, I did the GI Joe thing. Uh, I got into. I mean, the, I had one of the first. It wasn't Atari. It was in television. Did anybody have an in television? And I remember I had the, like the plug-in language pack that I could, you know, talk to you, and that was such a big deal. So I've been a computer nerd for a while. Lou, does anybody? Lou Mangel, we went out to eat when we were at Social Media Market World, and we were talking about this because he was kind of sound like like me. Do you guys remember what the first CD-ROM video game was? Because I played it. I had my old Dell computer. The first CD-ROM video game. Because before we had to, like with King's Quest and all those, we had to load them in those floppy disks. Oh, you had a, a guest on to show carving stamps. Gotcha. You can see how I'm, I'm, I'm for that cut I made earlier. That's where I'm starting to like, like get the hat down, so I know where that is. And you know, I need to put another one on the, on the back here of where where stuff is going to be, so I don't accidentally go too far. I'm gonna just kind of notch it out. Oh, Ching Fong was a sign carver over 20 years. Now he does CAD stuff. Those guys are... I, I would love to see your stuff. You know, um, tag me on... Tw upload some of those pictures and, and uh, tag me on uh, Twitter. Because I would love to see those. I One of the places I went when I was a kid was Silver Dollar City. And, uh, and uh, they would have incredible signs. Their whole park is supposed to look like that. And I love I loved those old type of wooden signs. Yeah, George goes, an AOL free 1,000 hours disc. We were, yeah, we had so many of those. They would come on magazines, all sorts of things. So funny. There's a guy I know, one of my clients, actually still has an AOL address. I, I asked him the other day, does, when he logs in, does it still go, you have mail? So funny. So Deb over on my profile asks me, um, how did I learn to do this? And I just watched uh, videos, Deb, uh, and then just started. I thought it was going to be, I mean, I, I, was, I waited too long in life. I wish I would have started earlier. <laughs> yeah. What was the first one? Yeah, Julie Riley remembers Queen Quest. And I remember I almost got, they had like a retro edition. I also played Wing Commander when that came out. I love the Wing Commander series. But the first CD-ROM game, I believe, and somebody can check me on this, but it was that horror game, Seventh Guest. It was this horror puzzle game that came out. And so, um, you know, Julie, I would, if it wasn't cold in Missouri, <laughs> I could, I would, I would think about retiring at Silver Dollar City. My dad, when he retired from preaching, actually thought about going and trying to be the, the pastor there at that old-time church they have at the very part of the beginning entrance where they still have services. So, getting there. Five minutes. We've made quite a bit of progress on a plain old stick of wood. So, he's been away from it. So, uh, Ching Fong over on uh, Periscope said he's been away from it for about 20 years. But you know what? I bet you could pick it right back up. Yeah, Julie Ryan had oh had seventh guest. Don't think I think it was. I thought it was the first, but double check me. Somebody Wikipedia that one. The first CD-ROM game, not the first computer game, but the first one that was actually on a CD-ROM. Because I think I remember having to go out and buy a CD-ROM because of that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ching Fong is saying, did some high-end stuff, mostly in, in size carving, not much relief for 3D. 
That's the, I still get, you know, one of the, some of the most popular posts on Instagram are the, uh, watching the CADs, CAD, uh, things cut, you know, signs and making some cool decorations. I would love just to have one just to play with. So we're talking about in our last four minutes the favorite, the favorite toy you had growing up. That like if you saw, you might buy again right now that you're older. So, let's see. You know, I did like, I did buy like Gilligan's Island and and the Transformer CDs for my kids, and I did get. I had a lot of Star Wars stuff. I never had the cool stuff like my neighbor kids did. They had like the Death Star. And that kind of stuff, but I had uh, some cool, uh, some cool, you know, Star Wars thing. In fact, a couple weeks ago, before everything shut down, when I was in Hollywood Studios, I was like, because I was with my buddy Eric Fisher, and uh, we were watch, we saw, saw something. I was like, I have that action figure. That's Hammerhead. I had him. Yep, kind of a Star Wars nerd. Yeah, a, a toy that if you saw, you're like, oh, that has so many memories. I would get it right now. There was a game called Shoots Away that I don't know why it sticks in my mind, but you would look, it had this little miniature airplane on it, and you would look through the earpiece, and it had like a, a bullseye, and this this thing would, you'll have to Google it, but this thing was on a, the, a, a turner, and it would turn on this motorized thing, and you'd have to drop parachutes little plastic parachutes into these little holes like you were rescuing people. I loved that toy and that game. I played with that all the time. So here's another toy that uh, maybe uh, people, this would really date myself. Who played with lawn darts? Which was just <laughs> spears that you would chuck at each other. Who had lawn darts? That's what I want to know. So George says, my four-year-old son says his favorite is his Transformers Rescue Bots Academy Grimlock figure. That's awesome. That sounds like an awesome figure. I can't wait till the new Netflix uh, Transformers series comes out. I think that'll be pretty cool. And Carrie says, apparently I had this plastic ball that you pulled apart, half red, half blue, that small shapes went into, and a blanket with silky edges. Thumbs, hashtag thumbsucker. I remember those items, but not the affinity interesting that's really funny we, my sister i she had a blankie so we would call it and we had to eventually hide it from her yes heather has she had lawn darts proof our parents wanted to make us wanted to make our siblings yes can't buy lawn darts anymore no yes <laughs> bitch says no lawn dart owner survived you were one of the few what was it in Grown Ups? That movie Grown Ups when they would shoot, they shot the arrow up in the in the sky, and you see who would stay in the circle the longest. It was almost like that. It was never used like it was supposed to be. Cabbage Patch doll. I was waiting for one of those. Heather's that says that was she would buy one of those uh, again. Remember the knockoff called the Garbage Pail Kids? Remember those? That's so funny. And I remember, does anybody remember Stretch Armstrong? I had a Stretch Armstrong, and I actually cut it apart to see what was inside. The magic that was inside Stretch. They call them yarts now, but they're probably made out of styrofoam, right, uh, Ching Fong? I think it's probably, it's pr probably that. All right, 25 seconds before Knives Down. We'll kind of round some of this stuff off. Remember, share this out. Tag me in the post, and you could win those penguins we just made, the Christmas penguins. 13 seconds. All right. Very cool. Oh, knives down. So see how much you can accomplish. Getting close in uh, 30 minutes, hanging out with your friends, talking. And we antiqued our uh, our penguins. I mean, come on. How much fun was that? So just think about what you can do for, um, 
for you know starting a hobby or learning something new in just 30 30 seconds yes yes you have to tag me now if you sh i've seen you share the post liz um, let me go to the, the big camera here um i know you've posted and so i will say that you're entered you have done that so um so uh, my, uh mitch says thanks jeff gotta gotta go keep the carving dream alive thank you mitch for stopping by i appreciate it um you're still entered you, you tagging helps because that's how i know so you can enter the contest um so <laughs> carrie goes i almost died myself yes um anyway folks thank you so much for watching uh i'm gonna go live again tomorrow probably in the morning because i want to talk to some of my uk friends i appreciate you guys watching wherever you're watching from you know what do me a favor tonight will you do me a favor and say a prayer for the people who are uh our doctors i have a friend who's an er doc here in town uh i know he's stressed he's doing a lot they're on the front lines so say a prayer for those guys tonight guys and girls that are serving on the front lines with everything going on uh wash your hands stay inside and i will see you next time bye now thanks everybody